Hi guys, uh, Terry here. Um, in this video, I'm going to be working through the solutions to question one of the CSEC AdMats paper two. All right? Um, just as a heads up, right? please don't forget hit subscribe and hit like to my YouTube channel. Okay, um, the first question here determine the remainder when f of x so this is a remainder theorem question um this here we are dividing f of x by x minus one so all we need to do here guys we write down what is f of x so f of x is a x cube plus seven x squared minus seven x minus three and if you want to divide by x minus one then what we're going to substitute into my expression here it's going to be x minus 1 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 1 so I'm going to make a substitution of 1 into this expression here in order to get my remainder so it's going to be a by 1 cube plus 7 by 1 squared minus 7 by 1 minus 3 so this here 1 cube is 1 so this is going to be a plus 7 minus 7 minus 3 so when we work this out we're gonna get a minus 3 so that's my that's my remainder here right we're gonna get a minus 3 the next part part 2 they said if the remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 3 is equal to the remainder that we just got so what we're gonna do here now we're gonna say x plus 3 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to minus 3 now f of x was ax cube plus 7x squared minus 7x uh, minus 3 right so what we're gonna do we're gonna make a substitution here of minus 3 so this is gonna be a by minus 3 cube plus 7 by minus 3 squared minus 7 by minus 3 minus 3 so minus 3 cube is gonna give me minus 27 so this is minus 27 e um, minus 3 squared is 9 9 7 is a 63 so this is 63 here minus 7 by minus 3 is plus 21 minus 3 so this is going to give me minus 27 e so 63 plus 21 minus 3 is going to give me 81 so this here is plus 81 now they are telling us that the remainder right is equal to the remainder that we just got right so therefore we're going to have to take a minus 3 so we're going to put a minus 3 is equal to minus 27e plus 81 so carry all e's on one side so a plus 27e is equal to 81 plus 3 so this is 28e is equal to 84 and therefore a e is 84 over 28 so therefore a e is going to give me 3 all right so therefore the value of e in this case here is going to be 3 now the next part of the question here now part b so they give us a function g of x is equal to x squared plus m plus 4x plus 4m equal to 0 all right um which has real and equal roots so when we have something that says now if we look at this here this is a quadratic function right now it has real and equal roots so therefore b squared minus 4ac has to be equal to 0 now let's look at this quadratic x squared plus m plus 4 by x plus 4m right and let's look at our coefficients here so a my coefficient of x squared is 1 b the coefficient of x is m plus 4 and c 
in this case here is 4m right now if we have real and equal roots that means that b squared minus 4ac right is equal to 0 so b squared is going to be m plus 4 squared minus 4 by a which is 1 by c which is 4m is equal to 0 when we square m plus 4 squared that's going to be m squared plus 8m plus 16 and this here is going to be minus 4 by 4m which is going to be minus 16m is equal to 0 so therefore this is going to be m squared 8m minus 16m is going to give me minus 8m plus 16 is equal to 0 right and then what we're going to do we're going to have to try to factorize this right and when you factorize that we're going to end up with all right we can put an m here we can put an m here and we want to get 16 so 4 4 and you want to get minus 8 so therefore i need to put a minus here a minus here right so therefore what we're going to end up with is m minus 4 is equal to 0 therefore m is equal to 4 that's it so even though the question says um values of m it's really one value you're going to get and they said you may use a grid honestly you don't need a grid to do anything they give us some graph paper here for some reason but we don't need a graph paper right that's the answer that m is equal to 4. The next part here now, we want to express this quadratic here, right? And what we want to do, we want to complete the square. So we are starting off with 2x squared plus 8x minus 10. Now there are various ways we can, or methods we can use to complete the square. So what I'm going to use here, I'm going to factor out 2 initially, right? And I'm going to get x squared plus 4x, right? Minus 10. Now you see this here, x squared plus 4x, right? I'm going to write it such that it looks like x plus 2 squared. Now x plus 2 squared, right? Um, you're going to get x squared plus 4x plus 4, right? Now if I want this expression here to look like this, then I need to remove this from it, right? So therefore, x squared plus 4x, so I'm going to write this over as two open brackets, x plus 2 squared, but I have to remove this 4 from it, minus 4, right? So what I'm doing, I'm replacing what I have here in the bracket with this. That's what I'm doing, minus 10. So this is going to be um, two open brackets, x plus 2 squared minus 8 minus 10 so therefore my final answer is going to be 2 x plus 2 squared minus 18 so like i said there are various ways to work this out right um, whichever method you use is fine um, some people expand this and they equate coefficients that's an option right but your final answer is going to be this now the next part they want us to state the minimum value of f of x now once you've completed the square and you are you have written it in the form two open brackets x plus two squared minus 18 right this value here is actually your minimum value of f of x so all we need to say here and notice they said state so there's no calculation here so minimum value of f of x right is minus 18 right that's your minimum value of f of x right um what's the last part here now they said determine the value Determine the value of x for which f h of x is a minimum. Now again, we've written it in the form two open brackets x plus two squared minus eighteen. Now, if you want to find the value where this occurs, right, where we have a minimum, what we have in the bracket here, we just need to put that equal to zero. So x plus two is equal to zero. Therefore, x is equal to minus two. So this is the value of x. 
for which f of x is a minimum, right? So that's my answer there. So that takes care of question one. So like I said, um, hit subscribe, right? And hit like, all right? So look out for question two.